So you want an axle bar. Those things are like a hundred dollars. They're like hollow still usually and like 20 pounds. So like I can't even math when I lift with those things. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build us an axle bar. So on Craigslist today, I picked up all this stuff. Look at this. I got all of that junk. It's crappy, wider stuff. I'm gonna resell it probably, but here's the gem in this, the barbell, okay? All this stuff is 60 bucks. Plates, the bar, the bench, all of that stuff. I'll probably flip it for 100 or something and keep the bar. So what we're gonna do is yank this bar out of here and we're gonna measure the inside width. All right, so take your bar, lay it on the ground. Sometimes the sheet bars have clay in the collar. Make sure everything is all the way in. Take your tape measure. Go inside, inside collar to inside collar. It's kind of hard to do this by yourself. You might need a helper sometimes. So 52 and one quarter inches. So the inside width of that cheap bar was 52 and one quarter inches. Measure your bar. It might be different. It might be 52 or 51 even or something like that. Write that number down. We're going to go to Home Depot. All right, so come to the pipe section. Home Depot. Find us a two-inch pipe. Find an associate in the store. They can cut the length for you. That's all you got to do. Come to the PVC section. Find the one-inch couplings. These are also known as connectors. 44 cent each. Get four of those. These little guys are right here. Four of those. All right, as you can see, we just got our pipe cut at Home Depot and it came out to $24 and like 68 cent. So we're getting there. All right, so we just got back from Home Depot. Got our cut piece of galvanized two inch pipe here. Uh, it fits perfect in between the collars from what I can tell. But the first thing we're gonna do is take our little one inch PVC spacers, take your pipe, and just kind of do a test fit. Sometimes there's like a little burring in the metal here, but uh, as you can see, it fits kind of loose. So what we're gonna do is a redneck innovation here with some Gorilla Tape. And what I've done is wrapped Gorilla Tape around these to kind of tighten it up a little bit. So they fit very, very snug inside this pipe. Um, I'm sure there is more innovative ways of using bushings and things like that, but we're trying to do this cheaply. All right, so once you have all your PVC spacers kind of bushinged out, it will fit kind of tightly in that tubing, you're gonna go ahead and disassemble your barbell. Uh, for this bar, it's just a simple center hex nut. I've already broken it loose, so I'm just gonna take it apart. It's a cheap Chinese rusted up thing. Simply slides out. And next thing you're gonna do is take your spacer, you only have to take one side of the collar as well. Leave the other side on. Push it down. Push it down. Push it down. Do all four. All right, so we have all of our PVC things here taped up to really be tight. But you'll notice the contact surface inside of these to the bar is also loose. So what we've done is taken more Gorilla Tape, our favorite tool, and wrapped it around the bar here. And what we're going to do is wrap it to where it is actually pretty tight on the inside of this PVC. Take a hammer. And just tap it on there. Alright, so we've got the end down here done. As you can see, there's no way you're moving that uh, part of it here. The rest of these not quite done yet, obviously. We're going to finish those up and then put the axle over the top. Alright, so we got all of our uh, PVC connections on there, taped up, really secure. No way they're going to ever move. So, what we're going to do now, take the pipe, come on the end here, and we're essentially going to slide this pipe over each of these connections and, and be very careful not to rip up the tape, because once it's on there, it's not going to move anymore. So uh, what we're going to do is just get this pipe over these connections and come back. Alright, so we just slid this axle over the bushings. Uh, as you can see, like, 
it's really solid. So only thing left to do, bolt your collar back on, and let's do this thing. All right, so we're all done. Everything's tied up. Hey, one of the cool things about this is you can still use your old school spring collars. You don't have to have these specialty collars to fit a lot of these axle bars. But yeah, it's really solid. Really fits the grip well. You don't need to spend $100 on an axle bar. All right, so just to recap, uh, we have like 24 bucks invested in the pipe. The bar came with a bunch of weights on Craigslist for 60 bucks. So gonna sell the weights and it's almost like you didn't even pay for the bar at that point. Uh, the little PVC connectors are 44 cent a piece. There's four of those. So all said and done, your ignits for under 30 bucks. Uh, the tape we had around the house. So not a big deal. So 30 bucks versus 100. And uh, seems like a pretty good deal to me. Hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to comment, like, or subscribe on the video. Thanks.